Hi guys! First of all, I just want to say thank you so much to everybody who's been watching my 21 video. Um, if you haven't noticed, I haven't been posting videos lately for about a couple weeks. Um, and the video I took about 21's I Am The Best Being Censored was taken October 28th. Um, and I posted it while I was sick for the last week in bed. So, um, that's where I've been. And why I haven't been making videos, because my voice sounded like that of a sick person, and it was embarrassing. But, that's a whole other video entirely. This video is going to focus on Zico of Block B's solo debut, which I've actually been looking forward to a lot, because I love Zico and I love Block B. Uh, except for, apparently it's getting some negative response. I mean, that's kind of expected because he's a rapper and he kind of goes, you know, no holds barred and into everything he does. But it can't be that bad, right? I don't know. Let's watch and find out. What the hell? What the hell? Oh my god. Ooh. The cook <laughs> Why? <Ooh. laughs> that chorus is so awkward as that. Ooh, it just sounds weird. Ooh, he sounds awful. Who is that? He sounds awful. <laughs> Zico, no. Zico, no. Zico, why? Zico, what the fuck? Oh my god, that was as subtle as Nicki Minaj's Anaconda. As if it wasn't subtle at all. Oh my god! Oh. I think I just saw the confederate flag that everybody's been talking about. Okay. So that happened. Um, yeah. I'm starting to understand why people are offended by this. Okay, so let's dissect it a little bit, shall we? First of all, what originally attracted my attention to the negative reception of this video, the use of the Confederate flag. Um, if you were like me and you didn't actually see the Confederate flag until later in the video because there was so much other distracting stuff going on, the Confederate flag can be seen in some scenes on Zico's jacket on his sleeve. And if you don't know what the Confederate flag is, um, a simple Google search will tell you what it is. But basically, it's a um, it signifies a lot of really bad racist stuff in America's past, um, including slavery, the KKK, and for some reason that I've never quite understood, being from Massachusetts um, my whole life, it's still kind of like it's shown off in the South still, like hung up on flagpoles? I don't know. I mean, there might be some, like, connotation to it in the South that's, like, it means Southern pride and it doesn't mean this racist thing anymore, but I don't quite know. Um, people were mad about that, though. Like, while I do think that Zico had a heavy hand in the outfits he wore between all those, like, copies of Taeyang's Ringalinga clothes, um, and some outfits inspired by Epic High's Born Hater, I want to give him the benefit of the doubt and say I don't think he knew what the Confederate flag meant. I think that he just saw the patch and he thought it looked cool. It's like, oh, look at these colors and it's got stars, woohoo! And he just slapped it on a jacket. Or it could have been something that a stylist, a separate stylist did. They thought it looked cool and put Zigo in it. Does that make it okay? No. But there are some Americans that don't even know what the Confederate flag means. Um, even though it's part of the bad history of America. So for me, a Korean not knowing what the Confederate flag means, it's not 
it's it's not out there in the realm of possibilities. It does read more as an unintentional mistake than an intentional act, is what I'm saying. If it was actually intentional though, then Zico, what the actual hell? Like I said, it's not okay even if he doesn't know, and there should be some sort of acknowledgement either from his company or from Zico about the use of it. Um, and I'm not, like I said, I'm not trying to shield him, but just think about it. There's plenty of idols who have to wear stuff that their their stylists tell them to. Um, tons of instances where idols are wearing Japanese imperial flags on their clothes. Most likely, not their choice, but because a stylist thought it looked cool and edgy and put it on them. That's what I'm thinking happened here. But if that's not the case, then yes, it should definitely be addressed because it is not okay. Even if you didn't know what it meant, it's not okay. However, something that definitely is not an intentional mistake is the use of the word faggot, which I will just be calling the homophobic slur. So, homophobic slur equals faggot. Just so I don't have to keep saying it over and over again. Why the hell he said that, I don't understand. If it was, some, there's some people who, who are shielding it, like, oh, he was... It's just how American rap and gangster rap always is. He, It's like how K-rap, underground, hip-hop, that's how that is. And they always say that word. Guess what? That still doesn't make it okay. It's never been okay. And it's, it's a weird thing to say, but in America, saying that word, it's kind of not a thing anymore. Not really. I mean, Eminem still does it every, like at least on one song for every album he released, which I've never understood because he's like, I love gay people, and he's even performed with freaking Elton John, but then he drops homophobic slurs all over the place. It just seems very contradictory and weird to me, and we shouldn't think that that's okay just because Eminem does it, because it's not. But anyway, he wrote the lyrics. Zico wrote the lyrics, which makes this all the more confusing because he's been told by BBCs not to say that word. This is not the first time he's been in trouble for saying something homophobic. This is like the third time now. And he's been told by BBC, hey, that's not okay. Don't do that. So what does he do? Puts it in a song. Great. This is a hard video for me to do because I will say it right now. I am a BBC. So this is annoying. This is more annoying than anything. Like, he, this is not his first offense. He knows that this is a bad word, and he's either saying it for shock value or to compare, because he says, like, I was, like, I don't know, like, was it faggot bitch or something? He's equating that word to being, like, a pansy or a wuss or something. Or maybe it is an homage to American rap. It could be. That still is not okay, because guess what? You are in Korea. Your circumstance is different. You are part of an idol group which caters to younger fans and international fans. I guarantee you, 80% of fans of Block B did not know who Zico was before he debuted in Block B. K-pop fans don't exactly follow underground hip-hop trends in Korea. And so that whole thing is just irritating too. Because he clearly knows what the word means, otherwise he wouldn't have said it. And he says it all in English. So that's irritating and offensive and there definitely should be something said about that on his behalf now breaking down the song itself honestly it is not my style and i'm not saying this because of the controversial things in there it's not because zico swears or says motherfucker because guess what he's sworn in block b songs and for you know i'm so desensitized to it that idols swearing unless they just make no sense does not phase me it doesn't faze me, that's not the problem I have with the song. And the controversies aren't even the problem I have with the song. Mnet did a separate, like, a 1 minute 30 second music video with Zico where it was really cool and it had, like, black and white and funky camera angles and it was just him rapping, going for it, and not trying so hard to seem very tough. I like Zico's past solo adventures with, like, Crush and Ugly Duck, with that name of the, the song I can't remember the name of, but Crush has an amazing voice that worked well for a great hook chorus in that song, um, and there's a beat that I can follow that I like. I couldn't really find a solid beat in the song, so um, on an audible level, I don't like the song. And I'm entitled to that. All fans are entitled to dislike songs. A fan shouldn't get penalized for not liking every single song that their artist releases. The video... Huh... <sighs> 
Uh, I don't know if it's him being his usual troll self and trying to pay homage or parody Epic High's Born Hater or Taeyang's Ringalinga or bits of J Park and G Dragon in there too. But it's all these hand motions and you saying yo motherfucker and you wearing like bandanas and being surrounded by women twerking and that weird whooping video of that woman deep throating a banana holy crap dude like calm down if you're going for rapping stereotypes then yeah perfect you nailed it right on the head you got it but if it's not like some sort of homage or parody it's just so even if it is it's so oh it's so awkward to watch He's in a bathtub, though, with Chips Ahoy cookies. The whole song is revolving around people eating cookies. Um, some of the aesthetics are cool, and I do like a couple of the outfits, but I'd rather watch the 1 minute 30 second one that Zico did with Mnet, because I really like that one. That's all on personal taste, though. Like I said, if even if these controversies didn't happen, I would feel this way. I, there are songs and videos that we are not going to like as fans of music in general. Like, there, it's just... You're never going to like every single song you listen to, and that is a fact. It sucks that Zico's in this tough spot again, but some of it he brought on himself. So either his agency or he should accept this, take the blows that are coming to him, and apologize, maybe, or acknowledge that you did something wrong. It's weird that people are shielding him for some of the things that he did in the music video, saying that, well, American rappers did it, it's like, yeah, and, like, what's your point? Um, you are entitled to like the song, of course, if you at least acknowledge that there are controversial aspects of it. I'm a hypocrite in that regard, because I like songs that do have controversial things in them, um, but I'm aware that they have controversial things in them. I'm aware of what I'm listening to, and you can't feign ignorance with this, because he says, the homophobic slur in English. So it's not like, I didn't look up the translations, it's like, dude, he said it in plain English, right there. So you have to be aware of what your your faves and your uh, idols and your biases are doing. Don't cast people like me aside for saying we don't like it and trying to tell you the reason why as, as oh, well you guys just don't understand and this is how real hip hop is supposed to be and I love Zico and he's the best. It's like, listen to what we have to say. Our claims are valid. Listen to critiques. Be the great fandom that we are, That because we usually don't bicker and fight like this. Listen to each other. We each have valid points. So by all means, like the song, like the video. Personally, personally opinion, my opinion, mine, just so you know, I do not. And that and that's fine. If you like it, that's fine. But be aware that Zico is not doing some good things in this video. Um, but does that call for a petition that I freaking seen to try to get him out of block B again? No. But I think at least there should be some sort of acknowledgement on Zigo's part that there was offense taken on some national or international scale. And that's what I have to say about that. So this was a long video, but I hope I got my point across that this is all, mostly my opinion, but also just trying to get you guys to understand what did you think of the music video slash solo debut by Block B Zico? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Do you think I'm being too harsh? Do you think that maybe I'm not being harsh enough? What do you think about the use of the Confederate flag and the homophobic slur? What do you think about all of it? Let me know in the comments below and please let's try to keep it civil. Fingers crossed. Thank you for watching and I will post videos soon. Bye guys.